whole way through, okay? Your knees aren't gonna bubble. So, it's an insider tip right there. What's going on guys? Fatty Manson here from Real Results Fitness. And today, in this video, what we're gonna be going over is some major flaws with the squat. I got two friends from the gym that need help with their squat and uh, you know, kinda wanna go through a leg day. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, kinda picking apart their squat, seeing what we can help them with, seeing what their strengths and weaknesses are, and then we're gonna go through a leg day. So stick around, I'm on my way to the gym, we're gonna see them in there pretty soon. All right, guys, here they are. So this is Jeff right here. Hey, baby. Josh right here. Yeah. They're both way taller than me. So, so they, they might, they might. Look at that, look at the height difference. So, so, so uh, we might have to adjust the rack a couple times, but uh, we're gonna do some stretching and then get it in. We'll see you guys in a bit. really important when you start with the squat is to use do the warm-up just like you would with your heaviest set um, so to start come on over it's a little higher because because of these guys <laughs> but uh, what, what you want to do is you want to squeeze the bar okay so you want to turn in kind of like you're uh, almost like you're pulling your elbows in okay so by doing that it's going to tighten my back up right away and now when I go underneath I already have a shelf so I'm here and now, if you come in, now I've got that little shelf over here, okay? So now what we're doing is we're just taking three steps, all right? So whatever your strongest foot is, that, two, and then the third one is just adjusting that, all right? So from here, spreading the floor, and then we're leading the hips. You can see them a little tight, see? I want you to push against my hand. Like that? Yeah. You're gonna be involved in a lot more muscles, but it's it's, it's gonna suck. But it's it's gonna you're gonna thank me in the long run. Yep. He just demonstrated some external hip rotation. So what I mean by that is, so if I was just to squat straight on right now, it would just be here, right? If this light away, we could get away with it. But as the weight gets heavier, it's gonna get tougher. So this is me standing straight. External hip rotation is basically screwing my feet into the ground and turning these out. So what did you say? You said that you felt the outside the quads right away? No, big difference. That's what we wanna do, we wanna feel the outside. It's here, and I'm turning out, okay? So now I'm externally hip rotating. So if you try to push my leg right here, it's not budging, okay? And you wanna keep that the whole way through, okay? Because that's why when you see some people squat sometimes, they squat like this, and their knees are coming in, okay? So, it's because they're not, they're not tight throughout the whole movement. Put it all together. Place, then we're just 
we're just going in circles hurting ourselves. <laughs> so. Kind of, so it, the knees? it just uh, it just came in a little bit, yeah. so pushing the knees out could be one thing. Another thing that you could think of, like, and you kind of always want to think of when you're doing leg movements, like on the machines and everything, yeah. is you want to think of knee in line with your toes, your outside toes. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't matter necessarily, like, hold it. So some people, they could throw on a bunch of weight, squat this close, and stick knees to toes without collapsing. Oh, look, all right. Um, for me, if I do that, I'm probably going to start leaning forward. For me, I'm a little bit outside the shoulder line. Okay? The, my knee is still going to come here. Alright, so I always want to think of, you know, on top of everything we just went through with the screwing your feet and, and, and keeping it tight right here. Think of knees to toes. Gotcha. Because if you do that, if you keep your knee in line with your toe the whole way through, okay, your knees aren't going to bubble. Right? So. 